Listen, it's because you're blessed, okay? You're blessed. And you're well, you're blessed if you heard that. I am going to do a reading for cancer since we're in the cancer season. Hope everyone's doing well. What do we have for cancer, Holy Spirit, please and thanks? Hold on. What do we have for cancer here? Whoa. Okay. We have a, okay, we have a knight of swords. So there could have been an argument or this could be communication coming in. Knight of swords, but then there's a king of swords here. So somebody went from this angry knight of swords to a king of swords, which is better. You're the empress. Let me do this. Empress. Now we have a magician here. Um, so you could have manifested your success here. You could be a powerful manifester. You can have somebody who is a powerful manifester. That's uh, a fresh start also. That is Virgo Gemini energy. There's an owl on there. Or a hawk. So lots of wisdom here. I hope nobody was doing, like, love spells or something like that. Okay. There was somebody who was in a Knight of Wands, which was an unbalanced here. So, could have been, could have been somebody doing love spells. Aries energy, immature player like Knight of Wands. You know, player doesn't always mean, oh, all the women. It means uh, they just, you know, do them and don't really care about anything else. But that's their choice, right? We got the lovers. Speaking of a choice. So this king of swords has either made it made a decision now here. Because the lovers, there's a lot of love here. Okay, Romeo and Juliet. But that's also about making a decision. So let's see if somebody made a decision. Yeah, they're coming in as the Knight of Cups, which is uh, uh, taking a lot of courage to come in with this cup of love. You're going to be very surprised here with the sun coming out. Ah, oh, that's this is like happiness and joy, fulfillment. You know, things being coming to light. Maybe if you were waiting for some kind of communication or clarity, you know what I mean. This is like a yes card, the sun card. Uh, someone is stuck on you. You guys are stuck on each other. That's falling on the lovers. We have the karmic wheel turning in their favor. So a new cycle here for the empress. We have somebody who is watching or just, you know, wants to come in with communication. Because there was definitely, well, when the sword's down, there was probably no communication here. Um, the blue jay could be significant in this color blue. Somebody's heart chakra is open too with the page of swords. They want to come in and communicate possibly, possibly about having a victory with you now. Okay. Divine. <laughs> okay, no wonder this was uh, something that divine had to step in. You know what I mean? It, it, maybe it wasn't even... Oh, this could be two different stories here. This Knight of Wands could be somebody you walked away from and now they're kind of watching you. And this uh, other lovers in victory here, King of Swords, looks like there could have been an argument or a misunderstanding or somebody wants to communicate with you about this victory. So you could have walked away from this Aries night, night of Wands. I don't know if this is resonating with the Cancer, but um, you're definitely in the reading. Okay, we have a Taurus energy, or somebody is a leader. Uh, Hierophant is like a teacher of of some sort. Could be religious. Don't have to be. Oh, you're, somebody is uh, wants generational wealth with you. This is falling on the victory card. Okay, so this is not just about money. This is about, you know, joining families together, prosperity, abundance. Um, you know, when, when you want generational wealth with somebody, that's very serious, I think. Or you could 
Queen of Pentacles, you're the Empress, but you could have created some uh, possibly form of generational wealth that might, you know, maybe you don't have it now. <clears throat> that night at once, all of a sudden I can't talk. <clears throat> that night of wands could even be a soup or a, like you being a very creative uh, creator doing something. That, but I, I think it's somebody that was unbalanced. You got a six of cups. This is somebody balanced. If, even if it was this person was the night of wands, they're coming in with uh, love and happiness and, you know, in a playful energy, possibly wanting to give you your flowers or teddy bears or whatever, or just come in and give you communication. Could have been somebody who was um, in competition with you or thought you were in competition with them. That could even be that Knight of Wands. Somebody in that Knight of Wands energy. At least the devil's not coming out. I'm happy about that. But there's an Ace of Cups here, and things are moving to calmer waters. Okay? Someone is an Aquarius or someone is a freaking star here. Because the strength card's coming out after. This is falling on the Empress here. But, you know, you somebody could have Aquarius. Both of you could have Aquarius in your chart. Leo energy. Uh, this is like taming the beast here. So, maybe it was difficult when this person, you know, couldn't make the decision. They were in the, the player energy or you walked away from something. And, and this person wants to balance the scales out. Give your justice. Equal give and take. That's amazing. They, oh wait, is this the moon in reverse? Yeah, the moon card in reverse. So, if there were hidden emotions with that sun card coming out, things will be exposed or whatever happened. And you'll be, you know what I mean? This is uh, somebody who now maybe isn't in, in their emotions so much, hopefully, with it being in reverse. It could just be a mistake. But this is a traveling towards you card. They want to... They're looking, you know, they definitely love you. They're looking at the their ship coming in there, and they're seeing you out there. So that the Three of Wands is making, making a decision now traveling towards you. So you could be receiving some kind of communication or something. You, or this could be you waiting, you know, for communication. Oh, I said something, and look at, but look, I want to show you this, you know, if this could be, Somebody else controlling and could have uh, been involved like a third party and helped to cause the heartbreak or separate you two, something like that. Or there were, you know, toxic uh, things that you both had to let go that could have also caused a heartbreak, especially if you couldn't communicate it. Okay, so this is somebody who you had a heartbreak with. You know that they're coming back from the past. The tower... Here's the tower moment. This could be a tower moment um, for you that they're coming in like this. Uh, they could have, this is like holding back. They could have held back from their finances from you in the past. This is four pentacles. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's whatever. Uh, I, th this card can sometimes mean death to finances, but this Looks like either they were holding on to you or they were holding back. Okay, take it as it resonates. But they're coming in. It's the Knight of Pentacles. They got a pentacle here. The bear, you know, is uh, fuzzy and soft. But they can, you know what I mean? Um, so Knight of Pentacles, solid offer. Probably took a while. I know I always say that. But the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving. The slowest moving Night in the deck, but solid. You know what I mean? Two of Cups. Ooh, yay. You got the Two of Cups. Okay, I'm going to shuffle. Even though there's a hangman here, I'm, I'm being guided to shuffle. Clarify the Two of Cups, please. Clarify the Two of Cups for Cancer. Okay, Divine Intervention came out. Didn't that already come out for you, Cancer? Yes. So double clear clarification on the... Uh, Divine intervention for you. Divine stepped in, and this person's finally coming in. This could be like a love offer. Look at all the bright, beautiful colors on here. The blue again, like the Page of Swords. Now they're coming in as the Page of Cups. Loving, you know. And uh, there's a cup There's a cup here. Doesn't have any fish in it like some of them do. And this person is dressed to the nines. 
They could be working on their money. Could be a Virgo or somebody got a new perspective in hermit mode. There's the injustice. Maybe both both of you were blindfolded or something like that. Something like I said, somebody could have been controlling, um, trying to control this relationship or break it up with that devil energy, or it could just then both you and the devil energy. But this is the injustice here, and there's look at judgment coming out right after. So you will, you both will be getting your fair judgment, okay, accordingly. You know, everyone getting judged by the universe and the trumpets are being sounded. So, uh, someone wants to come in and collaborate with you. This is even coming in maybe to help you. They're working, look, they're working on a pentacle. They're working on their money, something. Um, and they, they want to collaborate with you. They could have had a dark night of the soul or you did. I think, of course, you probably did. You're the empress. Maybe they had it a little bit later after you with it coming out like this. But look at, this is something happening very quickly now. The chariot is getting your wish fulfillment, getting your dreams are coming true. Your 11-11, 11-11 is here. This could be, this is the everything card. You know what this card is, represents, right? It's, it could even be a commitment, I have to say. And, and here's the Queen of Swords coming out, okay? Um, so we have a king and queen of swords here. Now there's a king of cups. Uh, we could, this could be embodying the emperor energy, or this could be somebody you walked away from, king of cups. Or this king of swords could now be in this king of cups, because that knight of cups came out too. Okay, so we got the Queen of Wands. You're coming out as the beautiful Queen of Wands, Cancer, even though you um, you don't have to be an, a fire sign, but you could have fire in your chart. You definitely have some in there. And now look at you're getting your justice here. So uh, somebody wants the world with you or you're doing something worldwide. Your messages are going. You're, you're, you got to the Seven of Pentacles either... With this person, like you planted seven pentacles in the relationship, not money, but, you know, seeds. Or you're doing something where you got money coming from different avenues. Maybe you're doing something uh, with your craft. We got the nine of cups. That's a bleh, success card. So someone wants success with you or you created your success. We got ace of wands. Okay, and now look at double clarification on the knight of pentacles you walked away from what no longer served you or you walked away from this king of wands even though the king and queen of wands came out together uh, i i feel like that's power couple uh this could be you know your person your person just because you walked away from what no longer served you and you are walking into something better. And it could be this king of wands. I'm not saying this is the person you love. This could be the person coming in. I bet you the emperor is going to come out. So we got the celebration card. So things are looking up. Happiness. Joy. I mean the four of wands came out. So there's something to celebrate. Also an ace of pentacles. So they want to give to you. You know. Work with you. Something like that. Uh, there will be no more options. You both will have no more options. High Priestess, so somebody already knows what's going on. There was a Seven of Swords. Somebody put you in lack with the Five of Pentacles. The battle is over. And finally, the Queen of Cups comes out. Probably you, Cancer Energy, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio even. Um, there's the emperor, <laughs> so he's here, and he's coming in, you know, this is a very dapper page of pentacles, this is a, um, like a playful energy, oh, I heard something earlier that was perfect for the page of pentacles, a resourceful, very resourceful person, adaptable, this could even be you, uh, at the seven of pentacles, you could be the page of pentacles, but even the page is, that's a good, um, you got your money balanced. Okay. All right. I'm going to end it there for you. You got messages coming in cancer. I hope this helps. 
And uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Well, you don't have to. I don't even know why I said that. But anyways, um, hope this helps. And uh, I'll say prayers for you. And have a good day. Bye.